Fight fans, so UFC 296 is in the books, and how about that main event? Definitely wasn't what we were all expecting. I felt like that fight was going to have some fireworks. I felt it was like it was going to have a little bit of everything. I felt we are going to see some wrestling, some grappling, some striking, some kickboxing. It felt like it almost was going to be similar to the Kamaru Usman, Kobe Covington fight. The first one and the second one. Both of them were very exciting. I even felt like maybe, just maybe, it was going to be a little bit like the Kamaru Usman, Leon Edwards part three fight. Also a little exciting. But it really, really, really surprised all of us, I have to say. I think all of us would agree. <clears throat> Kobe Covington pretty much did the opposite of what we all thought he was going to do. Kobe Covington pretty much played it safe for the first three rounds. Then he started taking chances just a little bit in that third round. And he started taking more chances in the fourth and fifth round. Definitely very unusual in what we're used to seeing from Kobe Covington. We're used to seeing Kobe Covington put on the pressure. We're used to seeing Kobe Covington going for takedowns. We're used to seeing Kobe Covington pretty much land or, excuse me, throw some really unusual strikes to um, make his opponent keep on guessing. But this one, he just completely did almost like a Yoel Romero, like just standing there and almost waiting for the perfect opportunity. So it was really, really weird to see that. Leon Edwards, on the other hand, that was his perfect fight. He loves that style of fighting. Leon Edwards, to me, reminds me of like Roy Jones Jr. He keeps it in the middle, throws a couple shots at a time, and wins the round. Leon Edwards isn't necessarily your knockout artist puncher. or your, you, We saw what he was able to do with the Kamara Usman in the head kick. Um, but still, he doesn't really hold as much power where he's going to stop you in one punch or something like that. So he was able to land quite a few strikes. Obviously, that leg kick that he did to Kobe pretty much really damaged uh, Kobe's leg. I'm sure he's very sore right now. You know, you can see, you, you literally could see the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, clearly could see the bruising on Kobe's um, leg. And I'm actually surprised Kobe was still able to use that leg. He was still actually able to put some pressure on that leg as he went forward. Um, but as the rounds progressed, you saw Kobe kind of up it up just a little bit, but it was a little too little too late. And as surprisingly, we saw Kobe Covington do get some takedowns, but Leon Edwards was also able to get some takedowns on his own. You know, he was able to out-wrestle Kobe Covington. So it really is very surprising how easily Leon Edwards got this victory. Um, at the other hand, you saw Kobe Covington pretty much still playing to his character, saying, oh, oh, what? I pretty much thought I won that fight. Da -da -da -da. You know, he could clearly lost. You can give him maybe a round, maybe very very maybe two rounds that's only if you're being generous but nowhere near nowhere near um did anybody score for kobe covington to win that fight nowhere um kobe had in the post fight press conference saying that he pretty much says maybe quite maybe the fact that he was off for so long that played a factor in it you also got to remember the guy's 35 years old you know, so as you get older, you tend to slow down quite a bit. Speed and um, your hand-eye coordination and all these other little things that pretty much are there in your 20s and your early 30s, you no longer are going to have them as well in your mid-30s to your late 30s. Where on the other hand, you got Leon Edwards, who is a fresh 32-year-old and still very much looks like he's in the prime of his career, looking very great, looking very sharp. You know, a lot of people have him as a striker, but he is clearly showing us that he is an MMA fighter. That he can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody and everybody. So, definitely showed us a lot in this fight. As a matter of fact, he showed us a lot in his last three fights. What he was able to do to Kamaru Usman and the and their um, their trilogy, and what he was able to now do to Kobe Covington. So, guys, what is next for these guys? Let's start with the champ. We got um, a guy who's on a nine-fight winning streak in Bala Mohammed. Well, Leon Edwards was asked if Bilal Muhammad's next. He has said that one, of course, excuse me, let's go back. Leon Edwards and Dana White were asked if Bilal Muhammad was next. And both refused to answer those questions. One, um, Dana White refused to answer it and pretty much wasn't ready to pretty much give Bilal Muhammad that championship fight. And Leon Edwards wasn't too keen on giving 
Bilal Muhammad a rematch in that championship fight as well. He has pretty much said it that he, he was on a 10 fight winning streak and he didn't get a title shot right away either. So why should Bilal Muhammad get a title shot? He wants to see what other fish are out there that he could go with. You know, so there's a plenty of other fighters out there, 100%, that I'm sure he's going to want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. But on the other hand, it just feels like Bilal Muhammad should get that shot. You know, he is the the leading um, leading candidate, the leading number one contender in this division where there's fresh faces. And you got someone like Shafkat, who we will talk about later on. But you do have some unfinished business with Bilal. You know, we saw that fight that went down. Yes, it wasn't the greatest. And yes, it only lasted two rounds due to our eye poke. And it, to me, it looked like Leon Edwards was winning that fight in general. And, you know, let's just be honest. But that was the last fight uh, Bilal Muhammad had lost. So I think he definitely deserves that fight, for sure. Other than that, I really can't see anybody else getting it. Maybe he could give it to Shopcock. You never know. But other than that, I really can't see Leon Edwards going against anybody else. As far as Kobe Covington goes, this is his third fight. Or, excuse me, third championship fight. And he has lost all three. The only championship fight he's actually won was an interim belt against Rafael Dos Anjos. Um, I cannot see him getting a title shot anytime soon unless it is an extremely like um, unfortunate circumstances where maybe in the championship fight the fighter um, ends up pulling out and they need a replacement right away. And Kobe, T Kobe Covington goes in there. Other than that, he would have to literally go through hell to go get another title shot. I'm talking about three or four uh fights with these young up-and-comers i know he actually called out in the press conference or excuse me post-fight press conference um called out uh steven wonderboy thompson i don't feel like he should get that fight because again who is he gonna fight he's gonna fight a much more older um and a stand-up fighter nonetheless steven wonderboy thompson if we all saw what he was able to do to tyron woodley to jorge masvidal to robbie lawler what they all had in common they were a little bit more older Steven Wonderboy, he's a little bit more older. He definitely needs a fresh face. I would love, even though he's already booked for a fight, uh, Gilbert Burns. That would be very fun. Um, possibly the rising star, Sean Brady, who's also a wrestler himself. That would be fun. Um, maybe even Shavkok Rachmanov. That would be fun. He had, They were asked, Kobe Covington, hey, well, what about Shavkok? He said that don't make sense. I beg to differ. It makes really, really great sense. Makes it perfect sense, as a matter of fact. You got both wrestlers and both guys that can strike. I do see Kobe not necessarily too keen on going someone, going with someone that's too dangerous at this moment. But nonetheless, he's going to have to go through some of these guys in general. Don't matter. You ain't going to fight just one person and then automatically get a title shot. No way. Not after three losses from that title shot. So guys, there you have it. If you haven't seen that main event, go ahead and check it out. It wasn't something that was going to blow your hair back. It wasn't something that was going to pretty much be in the memory books for one of the greatest fights ever. But it was definitely a high technical fight. Leon Edwards definitely showed us what he was able to do and what level he is at. So I recommend you guys go check it out. Um, like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.